everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the advancement book. Last episode, we were on the Age of All of the Things, OMG, LOL, uh, and we worked on the Hoarder, which is to fill a black hole unit with any item and right-click it, and the Bottoms Up, which is to fill a black hole tank with any liquid and right-click it. Now, these are all works in progress. Uh, it's like 2 billion items or 2 billion buckets of stuff uh, to fill up one of these, so this is going to take a lot, a lot of time, and I'll be honest with you, I, I'm not going to sit there and wait for it. Uh, it's going to do it passively. We will We'll get them at some point in the future, but I don't want to be, you know, stuck working on these for a long time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and work on a couple of other things. This episode, what I want to work on is the Sugar High Advancement. Uh, this is to craft an octopal uh, compressed sugarcane block because it's really important. And my big thing right now is this is where things are getting a little bit uh, frustrating because uh, there is, th this is not important, right? There's a lot of these advancements are... Uh, kind of ridiculous in that uh, there's really zero reason for me to actually go after them. But uh, they are on the advancement uh, sheet and, you know, you guys may want to do them in your world. Again, a lot of these are obtained very passively. So we will be going over them and I will be showing you guys how to work on them. So uh, to make the octopal sugarcane uh, block, uh, we're going to require a absolute ton of sugarcane. Uh, if I did my math right, I think it's like 4,000 pieces of sugarcane. So there's a couple of different ways of getting them into your world. Uh, you could use like a mystical agriculture and grow sugarcane that way. Uh, but sugarcane is really, really easy to make uh, in your world and to grow uh, using the snad blocks. Now we've made a snad block over there. You can see my uh, really, really tall sugarcane. What snad does, it allows sugar, sugarcane and cactus to grow basically to the ceiling. It will grow as tall as it can before it runs out of space to grow. Also, you can add a redstone signal to it that will, you know, make it grow quicker. So to make snad, it is a simply two pieces of sand in a crafting table it gets you one piece of snad. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go throw my glitch armor back on. We're going to go and we're going to place the block here. Now I've got this. This is sort of like a minimalistic setup. Uh, you can certainly, you know, fill in this entire little island doing the exact same thing. But uh, for the purposes of demonstration, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a very, very simple, uh, small version. Because it's a sugar cane, it does need to be next to a block of water. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go pull that in. What we need to do now is we need to set up a redstone signal. Uh, probably the easiest way of doing that is just with a redstone clock. Now, a redstone clock is simply a redstone repeater, four pieces of redstone and four pieces of iron. Uh, we've used these uh, quite a bit, especially early on when we were uh, setting up our uh, smelting systems and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and place this right in here. I'm going to right click on it. Right now it's got a 60 tick length uh, for a 60 tick delay. We don't want that. Let's go bring this all the way down to zero tick delay. And then we want a duration of, let's just leave that at five. So we can look out here. You can see it is clicking really, really quick. If we were to add some sugar cane to that, it's going to start growing really, really fast here. So there you go. We've got, uh, it's already on the grow. Uh, we can go break that and let's go and fill in those two. These are going to grow passively. They will grow up continuously. What we need to do now is we need a way to break it and we need a way to harvest it because I could do this all manually. I could grow up. I can go and you know, break this down and go down and collect them all up. But that's not really Sky Factory. The, the Sky Factory is all about the automation. So to automatically collect loose pieces of sugar cane, uh, the item collector is probably the best way of doing this. It's, it's very, very configurable uh, and it's very, very simple to make. Uh, to make an item collector, it is two iron ingots, two droppers, a block of lapis lazuli, and three hoppers. And that gets us our item collector. We're going to come over here. I'm going to go place it in the little spot that I've got ready. Uh, the reason I threw fences around here is, you know, eventually uh, if I went and did the whole island, uh, I just want to make sure I got, you know, something that's going to keep the water. And it doesn't have to be fences. It could be solid blocks or, you know, whatever. Mobs won't spawn on top of fences, though. So that there's a bonus right there. So we got our item collector. 
let's go click on that. We're going to go and if we did 13 by 13 preview hidden, that would collect pretty much everything in the square. The problem is when this gets up really, really high, they kind of drift off to the side. So I believe 15 by 15, nope, 17 by 17 is the max. So this gives us a little bit of buffer on the sides, a lot of buffer on the back. When these things start to fall, we'll just go break that they should all be getting collected up by our uh, little item collector over here. You can see we've already got almost uh, two and a half stacks uh, from there. So that is really, really good. What we want to do now is we want a way to automatically break these blocks. So a good way of doing that uh, is going to be with a controlled miner. Now this is very, very similar to the uh, item collector. Uh, what the controlled miner does is it will break blocks in a uh, particular area. We used something similar uh, with our uh, automated hogs uh, where... It, you know, when they laid their truffles, uh, the automatic miner would, you know, mine them up and then they would be collected up with the item collector. So to make a controlled miner, it is two blocks of lapis uh, lazuli, uh, one observer, a magma block, two diamonds and three obsidian. So we're gonna take the controller block. We're gonna come over here. One thing to keep in mind though, is if we look over at our levels, let's actually take that off for the moment. If I put this on here, it's going to break it right at that level. I don't want that. I want this one to be up. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a block there. We're going to come over on this side and we're going to place the controlled miner. We're going to go hit the preview hidden. We're going to put that up to 13 and let's just drop this to one because the nice thing about uh, sugarcane and cactus and that is, you know, you break the one and the rest fall. So if we look here, if we kind of balance that out, it's going to be breaking the second from the bottom, which is absolutely perfect. That's exactly what we want. This is a powered machine, though, where the item collector is unpowered. Uh, the uh, controlled miner is a powered item. So what I got is I've got a GPS marker. We're just going to go and collect that. And we're going to fly over there. I'm going to go power it up and then I'm going to cut and be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. Uh, the controlled miner is powered. Uh, it is breaking these blocks every now and again. Item collector is collecting them, that's good. The drift only really happens when they are really, really tall. Uh, so we shouldn't have any problem with our, uh, you know, with the way we've got this here, especially as the miner is going to be keeping that broke, you know, it's going to be breaking that over and over again, you know, quite a bit. So uh, that is really, really good. Uh, I'm going to go turn off these uh, previews because they are going to get in my way. Uh, and you can see we're already up to, what is that? Three, six, eight, almost eight and a half stacks of sugar cane. Uh, that is really good. Uh, nowhere near 4 million. So we've got quite a bit of work left to, to go. What we need to do now is we need to take that sugar cane and we need to compact it into a block. Uh, now the easiest way of to do that is going to be using the uh, packager, which is four light blue dyes. Uh, I think you can use the liquid dyes and there's like a dye powder uh, in there as well, but it's just be a light blue dye. Uh, two crafting stations and two furnaces gets us a packager. We're going to come over here and if we go and place this here, what if we got this down? This is a blacklist, so it's gonna start pulling the sugar cane in here. Again, it is a powered system, so what we need to do is we need to take our GPS marker, we're gonna mark it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna place it over in our uh, power station and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and you see it's already made a stack and a little bit of compressed sugar cane uh, from the sugar cane we've pulled out of here, which is absolutely perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an extraction cable. Uh, we're gonna just go put those into a chest for a moment and this is gonna start filling up. What I wanna do now is I need a second extraction cable. There we go, we're gonna grab you there. We're gonna go place this on, um, we're going to go place this on top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change this to a white list. I only want it pulling out a uh, certain items from this chest. And then we're going to have this come back uh, into the uh, packager. So right now what we've got is a bunch of compressed sugar cane. We're going to go and white list the compressed sugar cane uh, into the item extractor. And we can actually go and make that full stacks. 
So that's going to take the compressed sugar cane. As soon as it hits uh, eight compressed sugar cane or nine compressed sugar cane, it's going to go and make a double compressed uh, block here. So any second now. There you go. And it doesn't even look like we've seen it. So there you go. There's our double compressed sugar cane, which is perfect. What we can do is we can take that now uh, and we can go and throw that into our uh, item extraction cable. And that's going to start taking the double compressed sugar cane and it's going to end up making some triple compressed sugar cane. Now, here's where things are going to start slowing down because uh, we've got to go through all of those steps uh, to make the uh, double com or the triple compressed sugar cane. So it's going to take a while for this one to, to build up. And as we get further and further along, it's going to take longer and longer. So I'm not going to, you know, sit here and wait for that to happen. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to work on some other things. Uh, and then, you know, at some point in the future, we'll come and we'll check on it. We'll get that advancement. Uh, what I'm going to have to do from here on is when I get enough of these triple compressed sugar canes, I'm going to put it into the quadruple and then the, the uh, septuplet and then the sextuplet and then the uh, quintuplet, I think is five, uh, sex is six uh sep is seven uh and then the oct will be the final eight one so there will be a little bit of uh growing pains going on with this one here but uh i think that's gonna be it for this episode guys let me know in the comments below if you guys did uh any of these advancements any differently than i did uh, i would love to hear how everybody out there in the community uh is working in their world uh but uh if you enjoyed this video please think about leaving a like and a subscribe uh, you can follow me on twitter at jackal wolf also check out the description below there will be a link to my discord page i would love it if you guys stay up stop to say hi as well there'll be a link to my patreon page if you enjoy this channel if you enjoy this content and you want to support stop by check it out there are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters but that is it i'll see you guys next time goodbye